Hey there, welcome to the Electronics Lab. In this video, I am going to do this simple problem here where I need to determine the voltage across the load. And you can see I have three AC voltage sources written in their polar notation form. So I've got these three voltage phasors that I need to add together. One 15 volts with a phase angle of zero degrees, one at 12 volts with a phase angle of 35 degrees, and one at 22 volts with a phase angle of negative 64 degrees. And this question comes from a textbook that you can find in the links below. So you, in that textbook, you can get some more background on voltage phasors and how to do this kind of problem. To start off with, since all three of these voltage sources are in polar notation form, I need to convert into rectangular form so I can do the addition of these more easily. Because remember, that total voltage that's across the load is going to be equal to voltage 1 plus voltage 2 plus voltage 3. So I'll start with the bottom number first. So 15 volts with a phase angle of 0 degrees. That's the easy conversion. That's 15 volts plus J0. The second one, 12 volts with a phase angle of 35 degrees. Well, the real part of that will be 12 times the cosine of 35. And the imaginary part will be 12 volts times the sine of 35 degrees. And that third one, which actually I've designated as E1 here. And I can't forget the J to denote that second terms there are imaginary. Okay, and now going through and just figuring out what these values are on a calculator. Well, the first one is 15 plus J0. The second number is 9.8298 plus J. And the third value, and I'm simply adding all of these together. So I add the real parts to get 34.4740, and I add the imaginary parts. Now it's more standard to have the negative here and not have the negative in front of the actual number, so I'll just change that. Okay, well, I have my answer here. The, this is the overall voltage source that's applied across the load. I'm gonna do one more thing and I'm going to convert this back into the polar notation like I have here for the three voltage sources. So that total voltage is this value, but in polar notation, well, I need to determine the magnitude first. So it'll be that value for the magnitude with a phase angle of whatever this works out to be. Plug those numbers into a calculator and I get 36.8052 volts with a phase angle of negative 20.5019 degrees. And that's it, that's all I wanted to do here. As I mentioned at the beginning, be sure to check out the links in the description to find a great open source textbook, as well as links to other videos on electrical and electronic circuits. There are also practice problems available there if you need to get ready for an exam. As always, thanks for watching. See you again soon.